Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. 66 degrees. It's November 6th. And bees are really coming out good today. They're doing a lot better than they was here a couple days ago. If you remember the video where they weren't hardly moving at all. But now you can see there's a quite a few of them. We'll scroll across the yard here and, and see how they're flying. I love coming out here like on warm days like this when the bees are moving really good. It just gives you an opportunity to enjoy your bees even in the fall and the winter time. That's one thing that we get the chance to enjoy here in the south is time to see your bees in flight. And I'll show you the pollen feeder here and I'll show you how they're actually increasing as the cold weather. Now it's, it was cold this morning, it, it didn't, but it didn't frost. But the last few nights before that it did so the goldenrod is is slowly disappearing and you'll see these bees uh, going more and more and more after the the pollen feeder now these bees here you remember they're fall and winter bees and they're supposed to be really really mean and i'm blocking their entrance right here and they're just they're just good bees now i know they yeah they are small nukes but they're still super gentle bees even if, if it was a big nuke and you can look look down through here how the bees are you can see them in flight very good right there a lot of bees and i'm actually b blocking their entrance i did a video on that before and when you when you move out of their way they just kind of patiently wait on you and then they'll fly right in but uh but one thing i want to talk about just a little idea i've never done this uh, myself actually but i hear a lot of people do it with great success uh if you're a person that doesn't have room or space in your yard and you want to get a beehive but you just, you just don't have room for it has anyone considered doing a rooftop hive now there's you can put them on about any roof if you put them on a slanted roof with a lot of pitch you would have to build uh an angled stand that would fit the contour of the roof and it would have to be fastened down of course a flat roof would be better but um, it would be a good idea for people that just don't have uh, that much room to put bees and it's an excellent way I would think because I hear a lot of people even doing it in the cities. Now in the cities, I don't know what those bees would be foraging after, and they may not be bringing back any quality of honey, I don't know, but it would still be good for people that just want to do it for a hobby and just the love of bees, and just be able to propagate bees and watch bees grow. So if anyone's ever thought about that, that's something you may consider. Or if you don't have a roof of your own, if you know somebody, that may have uh, a roof that doesn't have a lot of pitch on it that's fairly flat they may let you possibly use their roof now it don't have to be on a house there's a lot of people like for instance uh, that little shed right there it doesn't have a whole lot of pitch on it now you could put a a, a beehive on that and just make you a little angled stand that would fit the contour it, they wouldn't be hard to make you would just it would be tapered to where the you could make it out two befores or such and and in the future videos i'm going to make i'm going to do one this year this summer or this spring i'm going to do a high top stand and we'll, we'll experiment and i'll show you how well it does um i've talked to a lot of people that's done it i can't say it by experience myself but i've talked to a lot of people that's done it and has great success in it one thing it could do for people that have fear of bees all the time is it puts them up off the ground where their flight pattern is up high away from people that may be uh, scared of getting stung. So, so that's a great idea to think about. Okay, up here at the pollen feeder. Now if you go back and look at my last two or three videos when I filmed the pollen feeder, and this is exactly like I said it, it would be, because a 
because I've done this every year and it's the same results every year. The, the pollen feeder will start off very slow when there's goldenrod. As you get more and more frost and freezes, that goldenrod diminishes and you will see more and more population of bees up here on this feeder. Now this feeder here is what we call Big Blue. It holds uh, about, I think, 30 pounds of pollen and it stays extremely dry, extremely dry. It's tapered upward and I've had the hardest wind and rains and would just think for sure that it would be wet in there and it was dry as a bone. This stuff here really works well. You can also make uh, homemade versions of uh, PVC pipe type feeders or an old hive will work well and put you a pan of pollen in, anything to keep it dry. Uh, I got one customer that use, uses bird uh, feeders. He's got like a glass bird feeders and he puts his pollen in, in it and they extended the roof out on it and he feeds his like that and loves it. So uh, you may want to try some of this. Get you some of this Ultra Bee if you want to try it. This is the best pollen there is, is Ultra Bee. Wherever you get it, doesn't matter. If you need it, barnyardbees.com, we have it there. But if you find it in your area, just, just get you some and try it. You'll love it. You'll love how this stuff works. But I'm going to do a, a, a hive next year or two. And I'll show. It's it, it would be easy to do. You would just have to find the angle. Or if you know somebody that can build it for you, it, it, it won't be that complex. You just got to find the angle of your roof, or if you're lucky enough to find a, a flat roof, would work just as well. And the higher you keep it, the better you would be as far as if you're afraid of bees being down at ground level, and they would always stay up pretty high except when they're foraging. So that's just a little idea I want to throw out today and show you the, the bees. And I just get excited when I come out here and see how well the bees are flying. They look really good today. Uh, last couple of days they wasn't moving very much because it was pretty cold but now 66 degrees they're out moving around doing really really good and I love watching them that just it's my passion so don't forget folks you know what November 23rd is if you don't I'll remind you it's our big coffee bee chat you won't be disappointed we've got a lot of beekeepers there that are knowledgeable they'll help you get started if you don't know anything about beekeeping or advanced beekeepers We'll be there from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock. And also, we're having our big uh, sale that day. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think, don't take my word on this, but I think some of these may be on sale as well. But we'll see. We'll see about that for sure. So, but don't forget, folks, click on the little bell. You'll be notified of new upcoming videos. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Beats.